Apple's WWDC concluded just a few days ago, and it was an action-packed event with both hardware and software. A new M2 chip was announced, and it will power the new MacBook Air as well as the 13-inch MacBook Pro, but this has left many people wondering what the next Apple Silicon chip will offer. So in today's video, we'll explore which chips are coming up and which Macs will use them, as well as what Apple's strategy is for their silicon across the Mac lineup. In March 2022, Apple unveiled the M1 Ultra chip. Notably, they'd already announced the M1 Pro and M1 Max chips just a few months earlier, and this gives us a clue to how Apple will move forward with M2. If they use Ultra as their highest-end chip, we can safely assume the Mac Pro will feature an M2 Ultra processor. This chip will be extremely powerful and will likely blow the existing Mac Pro out of the water. Just take a look at this Geekbench 5 report that compares the Mac Studio to the $6,000 Mac Pro. It already makes significant gains, and the M2 Ultra chip will be even more powerful than that. So clearly, there's a lot to be excited for with the new Mac Pro. But where will Apple go from there? The Mac Pro will be announced no later than December, but by that point, the M1 family will be nearly two years old. So which products will get M2 chips? Well, there's no way to know for sure, but we can make an educated guess based on Apple's past decisions. With this in mind, it's likely that not all of the M1 devices will be upgraded. For example, the iPad Pro and iPad Air. While iPadOS has continued to become more powerful and capable, it still doesn't take full advantage of the M1 chip. Demanding apps like Final Cut Pro have yet to be introduced on iPad, so there isn't a need at this time for huge leaps in performance. But other Macs across Apple's lineup are very likely to receive M2 family chips. Devices like the 24-inch iMac and 14- and 16-inch MacBook Pros are generally considered professional computers that need the best performance possible. So if Apple continues their strategy, the MacBooks will receive M2 Pro and M2 Max options, and the iMac will feature the basic M2 chip that's offered in the new MacBook Air. Finally, Apple has an interesting strategy to appeal to a wider range of customers. Even when the next generation laptops are announced, they've started keeping their old ones available to buy brand new from their website. The M1 MacBook Air, for example, is still offered for $999. It's an extremely affordable laptop that I'll continue to recommend, especially considering you can buy it for only $850 refurbished. In fact, it's such a good value that it deserves its own separate video. But this is something that we'll likely continue to see in years to come. Apple's been steadily increasing their prices for their newest products while keeping old ones around at more reasonable prices. It's a very effective business strategy, because most people purchasing a professional level laptop probably have a larger budget to begin with. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Will Apple stick with their current Pro, Max, and Ultra strategy, or will they do something completely different? I'm very excited for the fall and any new Max we might receive. As usual, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.